first few days in pre-season, how the first few days been, Louis? Yeah, really good. Um, first two days were heavy, nice and heavy for the boys, obviously, first two days back. Uh, the first day we did a lot of testing to make sure they were ready. Um, we did some testing at the end of last year, so we measured how, how far away they were from, from where their peak fitness was. Um, so that was good, some good, some good tests on there. And then Friday, a really, really heavy day, we had a double session uh, in the morning, massive fitness session. Uh, boys came for it really, really strong, which was good. Uh, and then in the afternoon, we um, went on the, the ball work. Even though the boys were tiring their legs, the, the tempo, the ability the boys showed uh, was, was second to none. So, yeah, it's been a good couple of days. Today, we went, on Monday, um, we've done, we've done a, a play out from the back sort of thing. So, the way we want to play, obviously, there's some different players to last year. So, getting our ideas across to how we want to go and play, how we want to go and, and start from the back and build up and build through, build through the thirds of the pitch. And, and, yeah, the boys have been excellent so far. Uh, do you have many pre-season friendlies coming up then, Louis? Uh, yeah, we've got seven organised. Um, the first six are before our first FA Youth Cup game. Uh, the way we've done it, we, I sat down with, with Russell, uh, the sports therapist, and, and Alex, and we uh, discussed the minutes that were going to be on offer to the boys. So the boys will have a, a 45 minute, a 60 minute, a 30 minute, and a, a 90 minute game. Uh, so that's to make sure that they're fully ready to go. The first two games they'll have 45 each. Um, the second two they'll have a 60 and a 30. So the team that plays 30 the night before will play the 60 the day after. And then the last two will have a, a 90 minute game. That's before the FA Youth Cup, which we play. We go to Dunkirk on the week commencing 2nd of September. Um, and then the week after that we've got Brookhouse College, who are going to be playing the boys who haven't played in the Youth Cup, and they'll get another 90 minutes. So we've structured it in a way that the boys are ready for the first game of the season or the Youth Cup. Um, so it's important we're ready for that. We've, we've structured it well. We've structured the preseason. The preseason planning was done well in advance. We did that in about June. We're ready to go. So we're literally just going down the foundations and making sure we're ready for the first game, either in the youth cup or or in the league. So of all the players added, you've also got a lot of new uh, team members. Yeah. Uh, so our, the staff members we've added, we, we felt it was important because at times last year there was me, there was Alex. It was Tom, we started with a physio who unfortunately left and then we had another one and unfortunately left. So we had about a team of four last year. Um, but a lot of the time with only me and Alex being properly full time, we were running around a little bit and doing extra jobs and couldn't have our main focus on things we wanted to. So this year we thought it was really, really important that that we got a good team behind us. Um, obviously we brought in Russell. Uh, Russell is, is first class, he's only been in with a couple of a couple of days but the boys have taken to him already. Obviously, we kept Tom Howes on from last year, who will again be the analyst. Uh, we brought in former scholars Owen Park and, and, and Francisco. Owen will be assistant coach to me, so like my assistant. Um, and Francisco will be the goalkeeper coach. I think it's important. We have a pathway for these boys, not just football, but a career. They both showed they want to do coaching further and get further with their coaching. So I felt it was important to give them that pathway. We've got a five-year plan for both of them, um, and hopefully in those five years you'll see them develop as a coach, develop as a person, get stronger. So I think overall we're helping them, but helping the club in the long term as well. So yeah, that, that's important for us. A strong team on the pitch and off it, and then hopefully we can be successful as we were last season. Final question, Louis. How have the boys been looking after the start of pre-season? Yeah, they look good. Obviously, like I said, we've only had three days, but... The boys have come back sharp. You can tell some of them have been doing some stuff and, and the programmes we set for the off-season. We thought that was important, so they didn't come. And When they came on their first day, they were, they were blowing after the first session. Um, so the boys look really, really fit. They look strong, so we can get down to it. There's not too much fitness than we have to do. We can get the balls out nice and early. We can get some proper sessions done, um, rather than looking at their fitness first and then doing the sessions later. Some of them have come back in, in better shape than what they were. So to have six weeks off and to come in better shape than what you were when, when you left us is, is phenomenal for them. And you can see the ones that have worked really hard over the summer, the ones that have worked okay. Uh, n none of them have slacked it off. You can tell there's a couple who have come back, especially on the testing day, and, and, and some of the results were, were mind-blowing. Um, so that sets us in, in good set. Because we want to be, you know, as best we can, we want to be the fittest, the strongest, the, the most technical side around and in our league, definitely. Um, and, and that's the challenge we've got to set to the boys because, you know, they're competing with some fantastic teams around here. 
um, and they, if they want to be noticed and try and get into our first team or a little bit higher, then they've got to be super fit, super athletic, super technical, uh, tactical knowledge has got to be up there as well. So we're setting them up to, to do really well. And for them to go away for six weeks, not have us on their backs, we left them to it. We weren't texting them, ringing them, are you doing this, are you doing that? Left them to it. And for them to come back and look as sharp as they do is testament to the, to the boys we have in this club. Thank you for your time, Louis. No worries, thank you.